All right, guys, now look, I know that I show you a lot of cool, affordable guitars on this channel, but so often the response I get from people is, well, that's cool, but you'll have to upgrade the pickups and the hardware and derp, derp, derp. Well, what if you want a guitar that you don't have to upgrade or make any changes to? What if you don't want to mod anything? What if you just want a guitar that plays great right out of the box and doesn't need any changes? I think that is what a lot of people actually want. And if you're looking for that, I think this is the guitar for you. Now, I'm a sucker for good looks, and this thing is just gorgeous. Flame maple blue burst, gold hardware, and cream binding. This just isn't even fair to other guitars. This is the latest, greatest offering from the AIO Wolf Guitars brand, and I think this might be the best all-around guitar for the money. Now, I'll go over some specs here, and then we'll get into why I think this guitar is so good. We've got a mahogany body, mahogany neck. It's a really nice set neck. Rosewood fretboard, 24 frets, very straightforward controls, three-way toggle switch, one volume, one tone. It's a stop tail, bridge, and tail piece. Up here we've got a nice set of Grover tuners, and you can also see on the back there that they gave it a transparent finish on the neck and the back, so you can see the wood grain real nice. And of course we've got that beautiful flame maple blue burst finish. This guitar is so beautiful that I bet it really makes you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. Now the neck up here has a bone nut on it and it's got a 25 inch scale length. So it's got a nice in-between scale length that's right in between the classic 25 and a half inch Fender or the 24 and three quarters Gibson. You know, I think there's some other company that, that does a 25 inch scale length. I can't think of the name. It's like GRS or, or, or maybe TRS or something like that. Okay, but here are the reasons why I think this is such a great just all-around guitar for the money. First of all, it's classic proven construction, mahogany, rosewood, set neck, humbuckers, great, right? Also, it has very simple controls, but despite that, you can get a lot of different sounds out of the guitar that I think you'll hear in the demo. Also, the guitar is very well balanced. It's a comfortable weight, not too heavy, and the fret access is great. 24 frets and you can easily get all the way up to that 24th fret. Now price-wise, these guitars go for around 400 to 450 bucks, like 429 I think you can get it for with a gig bag. And I know if you want to pay like 150 bucks or 200 bucks for a guitar, 400 to 450 is definitely a step up from that. But the whole point here, guys, is that you can take this guitar right out of the box and go play a gig with it that night and it's not going to let you down. You don't have to change anything, you don't have to upgrade anything, you don't have to swap out the hardware or the pots or the pickups. It just works great the way it is. Now guys, there's a few other really important things I want to tell you about with this guitar, but let's go ahead and first listen to a few sound samples. And something I have to mention here is that if you like that little backing track I was using earlier in the video, and also the, all the backing tracks I'm using in this video, those sound really cool, right? Well. They're not mine, actually. Those are from the Backing Track channel, Backing Tracks by Tim, and it's by a guy named Tim, and they're really good. He was generous enough to let me use them for this video, so I want to give him a big shout out. So definitely check those out. I'll put a link in the video description below. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and plug in this guitar. I'm going to use my Fender GTX 100 amplifier. We'll go through a few different tones for that amplifier and listen to how this guitar sounds. Let's check it out.
Alright guys, now let's talk about the setup of this guitar because a setup can make or break a guitar. You can have a guitar that's like $2,000 and if the setup is bad on it, it'll play like some piece of junk that you bought in a pawn shop. No offense to pawn shops, I actually really like pawn shops. You can buy like guitars and chainsaws and leather jackets and broken telescopes. Anyway, so the setup on this guitar. The reason this guitar is so great right out of the box is because the all-in-one guitars shop, which is based in Los Angeles, does an immaculate setup on these guitars before they ship them out. Now what's really cool, um, All-in-One Guitars actually has a YouTube channel and they've just kind of recently started updating it. They've been, they've been adding some new videos on there and they actually have a video that just came out a little while ago, a few weeks ago, explaining their setup process and all the different steps that they go through. So if you're thinking like, oh, well, they probably just, you know, slap some new strings on it or whatever and, and ship it out, it, it's really way, way, way more than that. So I encourage you to check out that video. I mean, I watched it and there was stuff in there that I didn't even know about and I own a lot of these guitars. Now, another one of the Wolf guitars that I have talked about, I've been talking about it for years actually, is the Wolf WLP. That's their single cut, you know, Les Paul style guitar. And that's been one of my favorite guitars from them for a long time. But I think this one here actually surpasses that for a couple reasons. One is just the overall balance of the guitar I think is better. And the, the other thing is the fret access is better. For one thing, this guitar has 24 frets instead of 22 on the WLP. And this has a much more comfortable neck joint and just better fret access to get up to those higher frets. Oh yeah. And the WLP is nothing to snuff at in terms of looks. I mean, whew, look at these guitars. Red burst, blue burst, what's it gonna be? I can't think of anything else that rhymes. Now I know there's a lot of Wolf guitar and AIO guitar owners out there, so as always guys, I would love to have you share your experiences in the comments section below. I get a ton of comments and emails from people who've bought the guitars and have been really, really happy with them. So I always love to hear about your experiences. So guys, this is the AIO Wolf W400. I highly recommend it. It's, it's hard to imagine anybody getting this guitar and not being happy with it. As always, guys, I'm going to put links in the video description below where you can check out that guitar. I'll also have a link down there for the amplifier I used and also the backing track channel, Backing Tracks by Tim. Definitely lots of fun stuff to check out. I will also have links for my social media and also my new instructional video. I've got a 50% off link for that down there. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.